What's up YouTube? Hope everyone's doing really good today. Well today I have a really really cool vlog. I know I say I have a really cool vlog all the time but I feel like my vlogs are pretty cool. But um, today we're actually going to do a whole project vlog on the Sunset Gene which I'm really excited to uh, talk to you guys about and show you guys which ways I'm going to be going with my Sunset Project. And we also have a clutch here that we're supposed to cut. So today we're on the 12th. These eggs were supposed to be due on January 9th which is my daughter's birthday. And the funny thing is I was going to cut them yesterday which was January 11th but that was Tina's birthday so I was hoping they were either gonna pip out on the 9th or on Tina's birthday but now they're overdue their time so we do have to get them cutting speaking of give me that camera happy birthday turtle <laughs> thank you <laughs> she is how old are you now 22 yeah no that'd be weird <laughs> no she's uh 33 years old yep. happy birthday everyone say happy birthday to the turtle thank you guys for all the birthday wishes <laughs> all right here you go what we're gonna do first is we're gonna open up some mail real quick um i've been having this mail for a couple days so i want to get this out real real quick and then i'm gonna sh uh, cut this clutch then i'm gonna go through some projects with you so let's get started all right so the first package is from dina carter and she actually emailed me on um messaged me on instagram a couple of weeks ago and um, yeah, she's been wanting to make sure, you know, to get this out to me. I'm like, really excited to see what it is. These uh, scissors are not the scissors I use to cut my eggs. Those are the bird ones. Just want to, you know, point that out. Mm. But yeah, so, let's see what we have here. Oh, hell no. That is so freaking sick. Wow. Oh, whoa. How sick is that? Dude, oh my god, that's so freaking awesome! I never Dude. in a million years would have guessed. I was like, not. Look at this. Man. We have one and two. I I guess I got two of them. That one's mine. No. Yeah. She messaged me, not you. She look at that. Have my information. Dude, <laughs> this is so freaking sick. Yeah, that great one. Oh mine. my gosh. Dude, Dina, thank you very much, man. This is so freaking awesome. Very awesome. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna actually, you know, like DM me right now because. That is so freaking cool. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. I'm really excited about this. Dina, wow. These are so freaking awesome. And yes, we're recording the vlog Super right cool. now. And um, these are both for me, right? Now for the turtle. One for me, right? No, for me. Dude, thank you very much. This is so freaking awesome. Let's see this real quick. Hold on one second. So it's DM Creations. So this actually came from SoCal Exotics and her. Wow, that dude, big yeah. shout out to SoCal. Big shout out to Dina. This is so freaking amazing, man. Thank you guys very much. I am actually gonna be rocking the hell out of these bad boys. All right, so that's package number one, man. This day's starting off really, really good. All right, guys, and next we have a package from Tim Harvey from Morph Out Reptiles and um, pretty big. I hope it's not a snake because we've had this for um, a couple days already. <laughs> dude, oh, I don't know what kind of tape you're using, big dog? I don't know. Some serious tape. Hey, I don't work out no more. I'm focusing on the uh, dad bod. You know what's so weird? So I watched this thing. I used to be in really good shape. And people are saying, oh yeah, man, dad bod's like the best, you know, body to have. Um, that's a lie, because since I've had the dad bod, no one's like, like want me anymore. So it's a lie, turtle. I got more attention when I was like really buff. Oh, maybe you should get buff again. No way. I don't want to do steroids no more. <laughs> Not that I did some. Right. All right, here we go. Damn, bro, that's very, very nice of you, man. Stop forgetting Jesse. Yes, I will stop forgetting Jesse. Wow, that's so freaking cool. Um, check this out. So right here we have some stickers and some cards. These will be going on my um, incubator. Oh man, and boy, do we have some shirts. Woo. All right, so small, small, small. This is for uh, Tina, Aubrey, Ace. We got this for, uh, for Jesse, I assume, and large is for the big dog. You know how to slap this on now, man, and finish off the vlog with the shirt. Thanks, brother. Dude, perfect fit, man. Big shout out, man. Go check out Tim's pages. I'm gonna put all his information on the description down below. And um, if my awesome editor could put some like handles there, that'd be really sick too. But yeah, man, awesome shirt. Gonna be rocking this. All right, so I'm gonna put this away and let's get started with the Sunset Project vlog. All right, guys, so let's get this going. Trying to sanitize my hands, sanitize the scissors. So the pairing to this clutch right here was a Sunset male bred to a blackhead uh, red jean uh, head pied. So hopefully we get some blackhead stuff. Everything's gonna be 50% head, um, head pied. It'll be blackhead, head sunset, 50% head pied. If I get some blackheads. It's so weird, these have, these are pretty long, but as you can see, they're pretty much already in all sucked in. All right, um, and hopefully wish some luck. Hopefully we get all blackheads. That'll be pretty cool. Cause I have a waiting list on some sunset stuff. And guys, I'm gonna talk about some other people that's working on the sunset stuff as well. I think it's a, gr a really good project that's, you know, now it's really getting the shine that it's, you know, that I've always seen that it's had. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think in the next couple of years, 
It's gonna be one of the hottest uh, recessive jeans out there. So I'll start off with the first egg. All right, we have a normal. That's what I was shooting for first. You just say when you get a first normal that everything else is gonna be pretty, uh, pretty legit. You Word. think that's true or did I just make that up? You totally made that up. Yeah, totally did. Wish it would've been a blackhead. Oh, I believe this is the blackhead. Yeah, for sure it's a blackhead. Hope I've already not poked up, you were gonna get mad at me. It's hard to tell when their heads are not uh, not uh, showing. It's so crazy, man. These uh, eggs right here have already on 60 days. I mean, dude, I was hatching stuff in 52 days. Things were already pipping, 53 days. It's so crazy. It's the longest I've had a clutch go from pipping, unless Tina put the dates wrong, which I don't think she did, because she's usually pretty good about that. That thing looks pretty good. Can't really tell. Can't see a head or anything. It sucks. Usually, um, they already have their heads pipping out and everything. All right, come on. Come yeah, on. Way more active. Well, not yeah, active, but just uh, better positioned, I would say. Ooh, this one still has its yolk right in there. It's a little weird. Not the egg cutting that I wanted. I just thought they were going to be a little more uh, visible. Everything looks healthy. Again, hard to tell if it's a, if it's a black head or not. All right, we have one more egg. Sorry about that, guys. But we are going to get some uh, sunset stuff pretty here soon. Hmm. Not sure what this is. All right, so that's pretty much it. I will do an update on all these snakes right here, but uh, let's uh, put this away and let's get talking to what I'm gonna be doing with the sunset stuff and what routes I'll be taking. All right, so before we get into the sunset stuff, um, I wanna tell you guys where I got all of my sunsets from. Um, I got them from Brock Wagner. If you guys are interested in any sunset stuff, cause I am completely out besides the ones that I just cut, Brock Wagner has a beautiful lineup of stuff, man. He has some visual stuff, he has some heads. So does Brad Boa and the other handful of uh, breeders out there, man. So I'm telling you guys right now, the sunset gene is going to blow up. So speaking of blowing up, we're going to start off with this bad boy right here. And it's none other than the sunset clown. And guys, you guys know that I made a vlog about, you know, I mean, this snake making me six figures alone. And I honestly think he is going to be able to do that. And this snake right here is the only visual, double visual male out in existence right now. I know Brad Boa and Brock hit a female sunset clown. But this guy right here is going to be going to a lot of females. Majority of the stuff that he's going to be going to are some het, sunset females, but mostly most, most of my visual clowns. And I'm going to explain to you guys in a little bit why I want to do that. I still have some visual clown sunsets. I'm not going to use him for those, but I'll explain to you guys in a little bit. Another male that I'm really excited about as well, he is almost up to size, is this awesome cypress head sunset. Also, first one out there. Got lucky with this guy out of three eggs right here. He's going to be going to all of my visual sunset females. And now again, once I get to the females, I'll explain why. Again, right here, we have a Cypress 100% head sunset. Then I have a double head sunset albino, banana leopard double head sunset clown female maker. And I have this awesome, where is he at, right here. And right here, guys, we have a pastel spot nose leopard double head sunset clown this guy right here man he she's gonna be going to a couple of females i mean you guys are wondering like you already have a sunset clown male why don't you put him some of the double heads i would but in this case right now i'm gonna be making way more powerful stuff for my clown females that are gonna be 100 percent head sunset and instead of making just a regular sunset clown i'd rather shoot for the odds and you know try to make i don't know a batman uh sunset clown that'll be pretty sick but yeah so that's the route i'm gonna go with those right there i also have one more mail that i want to show you guys before i start getting into what i'm gonna be doing and right here we have a red stripe 100 percent head sunset male look at this guy man he's chunky can't really uh play with them too much just because uh they're gonna they're they just ate yesterday but this guy's gonna be insane could you imagine the visual red stripe sunset i mean this guy already looks orange and a little reddish already I mean, he's gonna look freaking amazing. And then of course, guys, I already showed you these right here. The first banana sunset head clowns that I made. Dude, once clown gets in here, dude, game over. All right, let's go over there with the females and explain why I'm choosing to go with my sunset clown towards my female clowns more than I am with my visual sunset clowns. So here are my visual sunset clowns right here. We have a cinnamon inchy sunset. We also have a banana lesser sunset. And that's pretty much it right there for my visuals. I have some awesome hats and double heads. My double heads are more powerful than any head stuff that I've actually made, which is kind of crazy. Cause again, look at this. Spot nose leopard, double head sunset clown, 
pastel leopard, double head sensica, and these girls are getting big. Look at that. So that's the, these females will be getting my male visual sense of clown because that's going to make my odds a lot better. So these four girls right here are all going to be for him. And they're around, they're all around the same size, around 800 to 900 grams. Look at these girls right here. We have a spot nose leopard, double head sunset clown, another pastel leopard, double head sunset clown. So yeah, so I want to show you guys real quick. These four double head sunset clown females, my male visual sunset clown will be going to them again. Like I said, my, the odds are going to be a lot better for me to hit some visual, powerful sunset clown combos. And then these three double head sunset clown females, they're going to be getting my, either the banana leopard double head sunset clown female maker or my spot nose pastel leopard double head sunset clown. And I, I know I'll be shooting for the odds on these three, but I just don't want to make regular, well not regular, I just don't want to make visual sunset clowns. I mean, if I make some, I'll be really happy, but I really want to shoot for the fences since I already have these four females right there lined up for the double visual male. I think it'll be a lot better to go that way. I know we're playing with some odds, but with these right here, I mean, the odds should be in my favor, hopefully. And with my visual females, like I said, this one again, the uh, Cinnamon Inchy Sunset, she will be getting my Cypress Head Sunset or my Red Stripe Head Sunset. And this right here will give me better odds of hitting some visual Cypress uh, sunsets or Red Stripe Sunsets. Because again, they're both visuals and I don't have to play with the head to head. So that's why I'm going to be choosing to go with those. And then over here, my yellow belly leopard head sunsets and this yellow belly head sunset. I have a few more. She's in shed as well. On those head sunsets right there, I will be putting the visual sunset clown to them because they'll definitely give me a better odds of hitting some visual, you know, yellow belly leopard uh, sunset, 100% head clown. So yeah, that's the route I'm going with my sunsets. And the reason why I don't really want to put too, um, the reason why I don't want to use my sunset clown to my visual sunset clown females is because I have way more powerful stuff on my clown side of things. So as you can see, everything right here is clowns. So with that being said, I mean, I have, gosh, I don't even know where I'm going to start. I mean, I know he's going to be pairing up to this lace clown right here. He's also going to be going to this spot nose red stripe clown female. And she's already showing good follicle growth. So right here, we'll be, you know, making some spot nose red stripe clowns, 100% head sunsets. Down right there, girl, sorry about that. This girl was actually bred to him. Black pastel red stripe head clown. So imagine hitting a red stripe black pastel clown, 100% head sunset. So come on down this way so I can show you some other cool stuff. He's already pairing up to this Gotham Coral Glow Leopard Clown. And she's gone to me back to back years. Excuse all the little mess right there, guys. I wasn't going to clean before that. He's definitely going to some Batman females and some other cool stuff. So that's pretty much the route that I'm going with the Sunset Project. Um, I'm going to try to do more vlogs with uh, Project Snakes. The next one I'm going to do is a Mandarin stuff. That's another hot gene that I think is going to be, you know, the next big thing this year. But as far as Sunsets, I'm telling you guys, man, I'm not just saying this because I really don't have anything for sale right now. Look up some sunset stuff, man. It's going to be a crazy, crazy gene, especially when the visual sunset albino comes out, sunset desert ghost. Sunset, I mean, you guys already saw the Sunset Cloud looks amazing, but I'm really excited about this project. I can't wait for the end of the season because I should have some visual Sunset Albinos and some combo Sunset Clowns and maybe Sunset Desert Ghost. But guys, man, I hope you like this vlog. Thank you again to Dina. Thank you for Tim for everything. We appreciate all of the support. Till next time, peace. <laughs>